Aztecs on our left, Mongols on our right. Welcome back to the adventures of Shea Goratha, the second of Gotland. Last time, we were playing as King Bjorlam the Feeble. No, we weren't. We were playing as our brother, Stian Sane of Gotland, the half-giant idiot who died. Um, um, you know, this guy was basically just a direct upgrade in every, day, every way. Full-blooded giant. And Hrim Thursa as well. Frost Giant, if you will. Uh, so, not only does he get the bonus from obviously being a full-blooded giant there. Twice the benefits. But he's also a Frost Giant, which gives him defense and winter combat. Which is obviously great being in Scandinavia. So, this is going to be pretty good, I think. So, now that we are somebody who is a bit more... A bit, a bit stronger, might be the right word. How are we going to implement this? How are we going to take advantage of this? Well, I'd love to take the whole of Sweden. That would be fantastic. And obviously, just getting any land at all to build our wonders on will be incredible. So we will try and build wonders all across Sweden. I think that could be our, our end game goal there. This guy is trained to be an alchemist. So we have got a wonder in production right now. The Royal Palace. It is 28.5% done. The whole reason that we are going for the alchemy thing is to be able to just fund more wonders. And we're currently in the process of doing that as well. Luckily, as this dude, we can skip a couple of steps because we already have the uh, the books that teach us how to do alchemy. We're already... Uh, what was it we got? We're studying alchemy. Okay, we haven't got any of these steps yet. So you become a dabbling occultist, then an occultist, then an alchemist. My concubine, Birgitta, is pregnant. Excellent. Okay, uh, who is she? Oh, she's a, a hill giant. Okay, cool. That's fine. I didn't even realize we had a, a concubines. Oh, we took a load, didn't we, last episode? It's all coming back to me now. Um, so we got two hill giants and a frost giant, and then our wife is an attractive fire giant. That's cool. And our son is a fire giant as well. Didn't inherit anything, though. We are looking for those inheritable traits, which is why we've married her. She's attractive. Um, I feel like I should have gone for somebody who maybe had... She's fertile. She has... What's that? Quick? Perceptive. Okay, slightly worse than quick. But that would be better than nothing, right? That's one thing I've not really been doing much this campaign at all, is breeding in those congenital traits. We need a lot more of those to uh, to make this to make this work, to be honest with you. People don't like us because we're already a separate religion, so having that basically takes the edge off. Things aren't difficult by any stretch of the imagination right now. Bjorlam? Sickly fire giant. A sickly fire giant. Well, you can stay. You can stay Bjorlam, because that's good. Council are content, thanks to succession. So we've really only played as this guy for a very short amount of time. The council have only just become content. Thought we've been playing as him for about a year, but I guess not. My core physician, Erstein, is worried about my newborn son. Bjorlam is a feeble little thing compared to other infants. Erstein says he may not live to see his first birthday. Erstein, you must attempt to save my Bjorlam. Please, save him. He's a fire giant. Our playing as a fire giant will be awesome because they get huge damage bonuses. Less defense, but they're all about going out there, raiding, pillaging, killing, murdering as many as possible. You may have been players for our good fortune. You saved him. That's good. Two of two, identical. This one is obviously Child of the Conqueror, which is very, very, very slightly measurably worse. Magic for both, though. They will be trained in the magic education just like their forefathers. Let's go for construction. Seeing as we're trying to build many, many wonders, I feel like construction is a very good start and, and something we need to consider there. I'm not sure what we go for in terms of culture. I guess whatever buildings we can get out of it, right? Um, this is a great question. Earth the Hillfort we should have built a million years ago, so I should have gone for that. Let's get you... Oh, you're terrible. Shit, you're all terrible. Uh, we got no one better with any stewardship there. Ten is really the best we can get. Oh, she'll do. Oh, shit, but she's a woman. You'll do. You're fine. Not that I've got anything about women being on my council. It's just women can't be on my council. It's not my, it's not my fault. Okay, it's the system. The system's screwed. I'm sorry. I'm sure we'll, we'll, I'll do my best to save you in the future. Okay, there we go. Now, when we built this, we can actually start work on the stat buff buildings to sort of cancel out a little bit of not getting any inheritable traits. And like I said, take the edge off of being a different religion, being infidel, actually specifically, or heretic, I should say, which is worse than just having reli religious differences at the end of the day. As I've got more experience with magic... I've begun to experiment in controlling the weather. Good. Frost Giant, you think you wouldn't bring about rain, but we will bring the most from our capital there. Turns out the second option, the one that was blanked out and didn't do anything, you need a second province for that. I don't know why it doesn't work on Chust, but that might just be an issue with the mod. We literally just played this on stream, and um, the second option when we were trying to do this before allowed us to pick another province in our domain. So I don't know if it picks randomly, and just because we don't have... Maybe it needs three different options, I don't know. Anyway. That's the first step to becoming an alchemist, which is obviously pretty fantastic. Then we can start churning out the gold, and then we can build something else in just... The sooner we get these wonders starting to build, the better, because obviously they take fucking years. What am, again, I don't really know what to go for here. Um, tolerance? That way we would be allowed to have women on the council. Fuck it, let's go for it. A lot of women, fire giants, and frost giants on the council seems pretty good. Um, castle infrastructure, probably the best one to go for, I think. 
Yeah, I might go for that. What? I, yeah, I'm going to go for castle infrastructure. And um, we can also go for light infantry, cavalry, siege equipment, or military organization to actually get a larger retinue. Seems right at my alley. Sure. Um, we've got the gold for it. At least we will have the gold for it when we've got uh, when we've got alchemy. And to be honest, when you're tribal, an additional 500 troops, even though that's all we're going to be able to get because we're obviously at our limit, additional 500 troops to go raiding with, that's hefty. Especially if we get like 500 berserkers. That would be very, very impressive. All right. Um... What do we want? I think we'll just keep building up the uh, the hill fort. Or keep building up the fortress. If we ever want to flip over to feudal, obviously we need to do that anyway. Not saying that we will. Ooh, luster will be good. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. we got chest pains as well. That could be bad. Occultist. There we go. Nice. So we've gone up to... So this is the step just before we become an alchemist. So that's fantastic. Chance of raising our works. We're going to write a lunatic base book there. That seems appropriate for our guy, huh? Father, father, cause burn scene. Bur bur burn, burn scene. Yeah, that sounds about right. Pulling my arm, pleading to play with him and his latest toy, completely oblivious to all the important work I'm in the middle of. Alright, what is it? Go on then. Get on with it. Chance gaining kind. Again, might take the edge off of being a heretic here. Okay, wooden hill fort has been built. That took fucking no time at all, huh? Reinforced hill fort, then the stone hill fort above that, and then that's all you need for a tribal, right? But we are still going to do that just so we can build the other buildings. A daughter was born. Holy shit. A fruitful fire giant daughter. Ingfrid. Uh, what about insane Frid? How about that? <laughs> I love that how much it's setting. I'm quite lucky that sort of Norse has that many, many different in variations of names. So that's working out quite well for us. Here. It uses that sort of uh, vowel consonant combination in a lot of names. So that's working out pretty well for us, I think. Right, so reinforced hill fort is done. Now, I think after this level, we can start building the, uh, the, the stat buffing buildings there. So we want to go for small warlord domicile. We need small tribal village. Shit, okay. Should have spent my prestige on that, but I think we needed that the, the fort before we could get that one. I knew I knew we needed the fort at some stage. We're actually out of uh, we're out of gold and prestige. So well, we're not out of gold, but we're out of prestige. So let's go off raiding team. And you know what? I'm gonna spend that money and actually. How do how do we get these? Uh, retinue caps been reached. Okay, so we could get 250 berserkers, 250 light infantry, which I think is probably the best one we can get, right? Um, almost certainly. Let's go for that then. Boom. 250 Berserkers, plus those boys as well, is going to be very, very powerful. Let's get them onto the boats, and uh, let's mark them as raiders as well, obviously. Who is our best command? Now, obviously, us as a fire giant. Oh, we're a frost giant, aren't we? Getting fire giants on our center is probably a much better idea than in hindsight, because those boys have the damage bonuses. Who cares about defense when you're raiding? Generally, for the most part, if you're caught, you're caught, and your army's going to die. We're a frost giant. What does that give us, then? It just gives us defense. Yeah, damage is down, so that's actually the opposite of what we want for raiding, but we are also the best commander in the realm right now. Can we not bring in some, like, fire giant commanders? Invite nobles to court. Uh, Gareth Visby just comes in as a giant, not any particular brand of giant. Okay. Might have just gotten lucky, of course. We can't we can't assume that's true from one thing. Um, so they are spawned in full-blooded giants, but they also just don't have anything else going for them. Okay. What if we keep trying it? Maybe, maybe eventually we get lucky. What is it? 25 prestige ago. Oh, no, no. It's gold ago, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, I'll, I'll hire a few more. I'm going to see if any come in uh, as fire giants. Nothing. 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 Okay, that was a waste. I guess maybe they can't. Or maybe it gives it to them randomly within a couple of months. I'm not sure how it works. We'll put them as commanders anyway. Because it's going to be a lot better than what we've got, surely. Yeah, I mean, giants are giants at the end of the day. So they are going to be superior to what we've got regardless. And that guy was also Master Strategist, if you noticed that one. Alright, perfect. So let's get you on. What does Master Strategist actually give in terms of... Uh, it's more fucking defense. This guy is essentially just another frost giant in that case, huh? So we'll go Helgi and we'll go for uh, Sulvi as well. All right, I guess we'll hit up uh, our favorite, our classic one, Cologne there. Because straight down the Rhine. Oh, we can't because of the fort level. They've actually managed to fortify it because I've been down there. So I remember that because we got trapped, didn't we, last time when they built the fort. That was pretty funny. All right, gold. Still this northern coast is looking pretty good. Obviously, the Aztecs have moved into the UK, so that will either... That's going to be poor for a long time, and then suddenly become very rich, because obviously the Aztecs t tend, to, uh, tend to get what they want. I guess we'll just go around the Netherlands for a while and sort of see what those guys have got for us. Um, I think I'm going to try burning things down. I think we're at the stage now with this, with this troop that we could potentially do that. So let's see how it goes. If they move in to stop us, I mean, they've got a fairly sizable unit there in all, but we might just be able to get it. I'm going to take it very slow. Okay, this is it. After lots of learning and preparation, I'm prepared to try and transmute base metals into noble gold. I think I need a special tool and lots of lead. Okay, last time we went for this one. Then we went for mercury, I believe is the next step. 
Based on magic education, which we are an arcane master. Boom, there we are. Alchemist. Done it. Okay, easy as that. And Begita was pregnant. In celebration, we've boned our wife. And apparently she instantly got pregnant from that. That's not how it works. Don't take my word for it. Alchemy. Come on. Roll that dice. Pull that slot machine. The one-armed bandit. The frosty giant. Fuck. <laughs> oh, God. We're in debt. Okay, we need this raid to go through. And then we're going to flee. Because we know they've got their troops up and uh, prepared, basically. Shit, because we're in debt, the construction's been held. So I didn't know that's how that works. Okay, come on. Groningen, you've got to fall. Take it out. Nice. How much gold? 60 gold. Not great, but we'll leave. We'll leave with that. I'm not going to push my luck too much with that one. Paris? Uh, they've also built fort level. Wow, okay, fair enough. What about this one here? They've somehow managed to, even with the smallpox. Are they independent? Oh, you are uh, you are a good place to attack. Surrounded by Aztecs. So we'll be able to see them coming. All right, here we go. How much gold they got kicking around here, huh? Now, the temples are what are the really juicy ones. They're the ones of, obviously, temples and towns. Forts, castles not so much, but obviously once we, we've got to go through the castle anyway. A son, born to King Shergorath II of Gotland and Begita Afrura, named Vargen? Va Vayan? I don't know how you would say that. Uh, what about... Uh, I'm trying to think of it. An insane... How about... Insane? <laughs> Good one. Um, he's actually foolish. Minus one to everything. You're shit. So only the strong survive. If this one were to die, probably wouldn't lose much sleep over it. 82 gold was a nice get from that one, huh? 420 gold. Seriously, the magic number. That's the low capacity because we've got 42 boats, of course. Um, go for my court position. Not that I really care too much. Uh, you, oh, this was Baron saying. Okay, that's fine. Should compensate him for a job well done. Three gold. We're in debt. What's a little bit more? What's three gold when you're only, you know, nine gold in anyway? Oh, shit. He's, he's gone to Emir. You know what? Good. He was, he was useless anyway. Ah, the French. Um, seriously, that's all they're sending? 1,600 men? We can probably hold them off and carry on the siege. Let's do it. We've got that defensive bonus, so this is where it will come in handy. Oh, man, they actually beat us. <gasps> no, they did not. Get fucked. Oh, they actually just, just about managed to stop us sieging. That sucks. Okay. Well, let's take this back. This is going to get us out of debt, if nothing else. And obviously, we can uh, spend that on something. Learn a bit about alchemy. Okay. Um, alchemy can indeed make gold. We sold a book. We gained 26 points. 6-5 prestige is very precise. It's 30 gold along with it. That's very, very good. And whenever we can, obviously... Oh, shit. We need to unpause our construction. Um, there we go. Carry on. Let's carry on. Giant. Giant castle. Slot machine. Go. Fuck. Oh, come on. You're an idiot. You're a big, stupid idiot, and I hate you. Uh, I'm going to take out debt to keep gambling. This is the best way to do it, kids. If you get into debt gambling... If, sorry, if you, get, if you get into, obviously, regular debt gambling, if you owe people money, take out money from other people to pay it off, then gamble with what you've got left over, you can only win. I mean, it's not your money at the end of the day, so who cares if you lose it, right? I'm sure nothing bad will come of that. Um, speaking of which, seal up, perfect, right? Oh my god, that was a lot of gold, huh? Holy shit. Find a loophole, get rid of it. There we go, 600 gold up. And that is why, take debts from the mafia to pay off your gambling decks and then spend the money. Let's hold a great tribal festival. Let's do it. Have we done this one yet? I don't think we have. A great festival is exactly what the people of Gotland need to strengthen the bonds of their fellow tribesmen. It will also be a great opportunity for the chieftains to bring offerings to our ancestors, bringing prosperity to our lands. Let's get started. Let's get started. Okay, let's put down uh, you boys. Can we get any more troops yet? No, we still can't get any more. They do need to reinforce. I'm happy to leave them going. Let's put the fleets down, though. Period of festivals, festivities is about to start. All sorts of peddlers, bards, and fortune tellers are gathering in Gotland, bringing te their tales and offerings. Should go hunting. Minus two stewardship, but, but for some health. We get minus one stewardship, but, but for some learning. Um, Sorry, I'm losing my voice a little bit here, because we've just done like a three-hour live stream. Um, that will, might, I won't say will, but that might help out with alchemy. Um, highly expensive craftsman gives prestige for the next two years. That's a fair amount of prestige as well. Um, oh, saying that's not that much, though, is it? Was that like 0 0.5 for... Less than two years. No, that's not very much at all. Um, I'll study the old legends. We already have... Oh, I thought we already had stress, but I was wrong. Um, stewardship. Okay, that's good. Stewardship in exchange for... Oh, shit. Bustling activity gives revolt risk minus 15%. But because there's people here, we get disease resistance. Um, last for a few months, but tax modifiers doubled. That's very, very impressive if you've obviously got a high tax province, which we do right now. We've got a very high tax province. Holy shit. An old woman suddenly jumps into my line of sight, giving me a toothless smile and shaking a cup filled with dice. She claims she can determine what the stars have for me if the price is right. Here's a few coppers. She gives us good luck. Hey, health 0.5. I assume nothing bad can come out of that one. Make sure you take debts from the mafia to spend on fortune tellers. That's always a good use. Early tribal village is what we want. 
We'll spend our prestige on that. Our, our ill-gotten prestige. Or, you know, maybe it was glorious. Alchemy. That's not alchemy. That's werewolf. We're a werewolf. Moon madness. Blood. We killed a dog. Get fucked. Oh my god. Oh, because it's based on tax modifier. Oh, it's based on our tax income and it's doubled. That's a hefty... That's a hefty boy. Full move fever. Marshall plus two. 5% chance of being a suspected monster. We're fine. We got through it. Oh my god. We need to do that as much as possible. Holy shit. Can we do it again before the tax modifier wears up? I don't think so. Incubiorg is pregnant. Great. Jihad for Anatolia. Could not give less of a shit. The poetry contest. With so many travellers and bards coming to Gotland in exchange for stories and enjoy the period of festivities, I've come to the conclusion that we should organise a poetry contest. Sure. I shall join too. Let's do it. Um, what's our diplomacy? Two. We've got 26 learning, so maybe that will help out somewhat, huh? I'm not so pitiful state of my son, Burr Insane. Burr, 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 Burr Insane. I'm going to call him Burr Insane from now on. Call my court physician at once. Obviously, we need to keep him alive because he's very, very good. Shall so compensate for him job well done. Five gone. I'm sure we can afford that given, given the state of the realm right now. As Ileana grows older, we can spend our own resources to give her something absolutely not piss off. We might want to do that with our son, though, obviously. Let the best man win. Bards and prodigies have assembled. She won. Uh, did she lose? I guess she lost because she's got uh, the broken loot. That's very funny. The contest gives us the opportunity to hear many new amazing stories. Tales of love and war captivate all the people of Gotland. The public does not seem to be received my own poetry very well. The uncontested winner turned out to be Kara the Bard. The woman deserves a prize. Our brother's ex-wife. Uh, 150. Wow. 150 gold. <sighs> I mean, we can afford it. Alright, go on then. I'll allow it. When she dies, we inherit it anyway, right? Or maybe her children will inherit, but, you know, they're our, our relatives anyway. With the period of festivities near its end, it's finally time to burn our offerings to the gods and pray that they will protect us in the years to come. A long moment of silence shrouds Gotland as the smoke rises from the night sky, then the shaman's lead us in a somber hymn, concluding the ceremony. Glory to Vathrudnir. Thank you. Old Yatnar plus 1%. Prosperity of your capital increases. That's actually very good, because that's a good way to get a little bit of moral authority if you're really struggling for it. Why the hell are we not part of the Warriors of Utgarder, I guess? Uh, gladly fights to prove myself, of course. Oh, shit. Did I say no to that? You fucking idiot. Right. Round two. Let's try again. I would not bloody my knuckles, except for the next fight you offer me, my friend. Um, of course. Yeah, we'll go for that one. Haiji Botvar the Blushing. Hachi Botvar the Warriors of... Okay, has chosen her as my, my enemy. She is a fire giant, to be fair. Don't underestimate. She's a fire giant duelist. 57 Marshall versus our own 52. We, we somehow won that. We must have got very lucky. We, did, we didn't get away with it completely unscathed. We did get wounded. Gosham Nitria. Are our troops reinforced? Are we good to go? Um, no. Reinforcing 25 soldiers a month. That's taking ages. She should rest. I suppose we've had a lot of festival, huh? Join the warriors. There we go. All right. I reckon if we're raiding a lot for prestige, we probably want to get the uh, the Reaver to... Oh. Except for... Oh, they... Wait, what? Carpathia is Sunny Muslim. Why did that happen? Oh, maybe they were a, a horde that converted? Nope, this guy just converted and stuck with it. Because this guy was Tengri. I guess maybe... Oh, they probably paid for a conversion. I remember it last episode. The conversion of Carpathia popped up. So they actually funded their conversion. Got it. Kingdom of Jerusalem is still there, though. Deus Vault... Yeah, whatever. We're fine. Maybe we've got Jihad versus those guys. And, of course, because we are a god, or we have the god's blood, we have Loki's blood running through our veins. We've lost the trait wounded. Fantastic news. Always good if we get that during raids, obviously. Okay. I wonder if that how, how far that can affect you. Obviously, maimed, I believe it undoes. But in incapable as well, it obviously affects. Man, I guess we could do a lot. Infirm, maybe, too? I'm not sure. Obviously, more alchemy time. It's only 100 gold. Okay, we lost 400 gold on that one. Familiar faces. Naturally. We had a fair amount of prestige again. Now, how much are these buildings that I want to build, then? Okay, we're almost done with it. Are we still overseeing construction? We are. Get the most out of capital of Gotland. Against right, Erudite 2. Hopefully, more higher alchemy chance. Again, I don't know how it works, but fingers crossed on that one. Edla. What about Ed Lunatic? She is a, a club-footed frost giant. Wow, incredible. Um, <laughs> sure, whatever. I'm, I'm not going to bother educating her. That's how little I care. Right, study technology always, because she's got 43. We should definitely be doing that. I don't think we're at any risk of assassination or anything either. Um, we've got anyone better than you. We do have you who likes me more. Angel, my religion, my culture, and a fellow frost giant. Welcome aboard. Oversee my construction. I feel like a frost giant would be better at overseeing construction, you know? Who needs a crane when you've got a gigantic man? Okay, werewolf, vampire, something. Who knows? Uh, Aztecs. What? Who are they at war with? Oh, shit. 
That's Denmark, isn't it? Oh my god. Remember what I said yesterday? Aztecs are nothing to worry about unless they come straight up here. They're actually going to take Denmark. That's a lot of Aztecs. Oh, as you lose. Yeah. 19% in favor of Huetla Tuani Garcia Usurper. Wow, that's a big shit, huh? Oh my god. Um, they're going to have a pretty close border if they get that. Because that's going to take them... Does that include... Sco no, it's just a Dutch level title. I was going to say, if it puts them on Skorna on the mainland Sweden there, that could be a problem. But we're fine. Nothing to worry about. Hey, no problems. Not concerned. I am very concerned, I won't lie. But it's not, not a big deal yet. We'll worry about that later on. Morakman, perhaps? Any more? Cheese is my money, please. We could almost, we were almost so close to being able to afford a wonder, and now I've gambled it all away once again. Uh, we killed Iliana Ulfus. Well, sucks to be you, my friend. My god, imagine that. Giant werewolf hunting a fire giant. What a battle that must have been. That's awesome. 15% chance of being found out. Gunhilda is pregnant in celebration. That would have been so cool. Turning into a giant frosty werewolf. There is a frosty werewolf, isn't there? In Lord of the Rings. What is it called? Um... Come back to me on that one. I'm sure I'll remember later on. Giant Frosty Werewolf fights a giant flaming woman. That's 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 my head cannon. That's Jerry King levels of uh, Jerry King levels of fantasy madness. Another 800. Okay, now what wonder we do we want to build here? It's probably the real question. Um, pyramids would cost 4,200. Holy shit! Uh, obviously, we've already got the royal palace. Can we build more than one? If we've already got a royal palace, can we start building a second one? I don't know why you would do that. Obviously, I think I think maybe Grand Fortress against the Aztecs. That seems like a good idea. 2,800 gold. Okay, a couple more lucky alchemies. And we should be able to go for that fortress as well. Holmfred might fancy me. Uh, nah. I, I mean, I don't blame her, but nah. Definitely not. Ulfilder is pregnant. Come on, more alchemy, please. Let's do it. Lose some China. Don't give a shit. Failure. Come on. Please. Just let me build this fortress before the Aztecs get too much of a foothold. Oh, God, they're here. They may go for some war against Sweden next. Um, summon an owl. I don't know what the owl does. Hey, there we go. We got gold back. Good, good, good. One more successful alchemy and we've done it. Frody. Frody the Frost Giant. Frody insane. <laughs> Frody insane. Shagoratheton. Welcome. We're going to give magic to you. We're not educating uh, Bjorlam. Whoops. Uh, Sign Guardian. Let's go for, obviously, wherever we are. There we go. And then we'll uh, give... I don't mind educating the sons. The daughters are irrelevant. We're gavel kind and what, like... Agnatic only, or Cognatic, I forget which way around it is. It's Agnatic, right? Anyway, um, magic for you as well. We've got more wizards in court, haven't we? Kara, she's a genius wizard. She'll do, she's actually probably a very good educator in that case. Might be good training our heir under her instead, but I feel like giving us more control over it. It's probably a good idea. Loot the province in Dinfwyr. Dinfwyr? That's Wales. Told you. Okay, uh, we'll deal with that one in a minute. Okay, it's, it's Aztec Wales. Yotli, y y Yolo, Yolotli... Yo, yo Lotli. That's hard to say. We'll go after him in a second. Let's do a bit more alchemy. See if we can start work on our Grand Fortress. Oh. It's too good. It's actually too good. Alright. Let's do it, team. And what? Oh, we need improved keeps level 4 and construction level 4 over there. Oh, shit. Wow. That's expensive. That's a big boy. Okay, ignore that one then. Statue of a horse. Great harbor. Not bad. Can improve maritime military capabilities. That seems like a good second place. Uh, lighthouse. We've got Magnificent Garden. Seems pointless. Mausoleum Pyramid. Seems like they're just going to get torn down. I'm going to go with the harbour in that case. Well, boats and that type of... And obviously gold. Gold and boats seems like a good idea. Sure. Bring it, Aztecs. Look at these wonders. This is nuts. How much is this costing me? A lot. My money, help me. 50 gold a year on that one. 36 gold a year on that one. Christina, another frost giant. My god, we are just shitting out frost giants, huh? Um, what about Ulfil Insane? You can sort of hopefully see my naming scheme right now. I was going to go for something a bit clever. You know, like calling them some like Mads would have been a good one. That's, that would have been a very good sort of Scandinavian name that also plays into the whole lunacy type of thing. Throwing in some insanes, throwing in some possessed based stuff. Uh, instead I'm just calling everybody something something insane. Doesn't really count, does it? Bjorn insane! Doesn't <laughs> feel like it's a bit of an easy way out. Attempt some more alchemy. Fuck it. Ah, uh, well, times are too good there. We've already started working on it, so it doesn't matter too much. Of course, it pauses both constructions, though. Um, so the non-aggression pack with who? Shetland. Uh, Shetland. Sure, why not? Fuck it. They, they seem like a worthy ally. Sweden has actually expanded out massively. I almost don't want to expand now. I, I would rather play the tour game with the wonders. We should only move on to a new province if we've already got one in all of our previous ones, which I guess we do right now, huh? That seems like a pretty fun way to slow things down a little bit. All right. 
Let's go, squad. War with Sweden time. Duh. Right. Uh, Ingebjörg is pregnant once again. They just don't stop. You know, starts coming and don't stop coming. And so, the... <sighs> come on, help me with that. Uh, why can't we declare one? Well, because we're bankrupt. Okay, that was a joke in there somewhere. I'll leave it up to you guys to uh, to find that one for me. Right, Marshall, Helgi, welcome aboard. Uh, a little bit more gold. A little more gold. Then we can unpause our our constructions as well. Okay, resume. Thank you. Now, how close are we to building this one then? 51% done. Holy shit. Okay. Um, there we go. Great Harbor is back on it as well. I think we might have it by next character. Bear in mind that stage one. Then we've got to build the features. Then we've also got to build the actual upgrades as well. The, the upgraded tiers of it so we can build more features. A son was born named Tyke. Um, terrible. I'm sorry. That was, that was my worst one yet. That one is even worse. I should just call him Tyke Insane because that would have been better than Ty Crazy. The cruel Aztec invaders are now in full control of Ireland. Thousands of Irishmen have already been sacrificed in the celebration. Their Aztec overlords are now in the process of constructing new temples of pyramids where future rituals to please their gods will no doubt take place. They must be thrown back into the sea. The Aztecs are going to win. Like, they are they are very, very strong. 62,000 men, and they've, they've conquested a fair amount. They've, they've knocked out parts of West Francia there. Have they captured Paris? Not quite. Oh, they have captured Paris. Shit. Paris, they've got parts of Denmark. They've got all of Ireland, part, most of England there. Um, split between Norway. Ireland has actually moved into Scotland, interestingly enough. They managed to move out. That's, that's kind of cool. Okay, fair enough. I'll, I'll allow that one. All right, Sweden. Time to die. What have you got for me? Subjugation. <laughs> no, I, I did say let's not. I did say let's not do that. Because then the Aztecs are right there. For our own survival, that's going to be a no from me, Chief. Instead, we're going to take, uh, Seveda. Where is that? Se Se Sevede? Se I don't know how you say that, but we're going to grab it. Like I said, we'll, we'll take a province, build a wonder, then move to the next one. That's a rule I'm going to implement going forward, because I think that's kind of a cool idea. That way, everywhere has a wonder. Now, I hope, like constructing regular buildings and holdings and upgrades, that if people raid us, we won't lose the construction. That would suck massively if we spend... Uh, surely they wouldn't do that. If we spend 20 years half building a palace and they turn up and knock it down, that would suck. That would be awful. I wouldn't put it past Paradox, though. It's like a punishment for... Uh, being complacent. That would be that would be genuinely top tier shit. Right, Shea and Anlaufer. Let's kill them all. Right. Sort it down. Victorious Crusaders. Wow, okay. So what they managed to grab back a little tiny, tiny, weeny, tiny bit. Is that seriously what they went to war for? Four fucking provinces. Now what are you the king of? Nothing. It is actually a kingdom level title though. The Byzantines will swallow that up. Assuming they win the war against the Abbasids, they'll just swallow that straight back up. So that was very, very dumb. All right, saw that one down. So this is going to be fun because now we're going to have to do the war that we did with Sweden last time. Now, what I've got to do is make sure that we don't kill too many of their smaller random troops so that we can get a... Oh, was that a major battle? Okay, that was a major battle. Okay, nothing to worry about them. I was going to say, last time we were struggling because there weren't any troops around for us to kill, so we couldn't get a major battle. But they are piling on here and getting wiped the fuck out. What were you thinking? What the hell were they thinking with that one, huh? Absolutely destroyed them. 42% war score all of a sudden is looking very, very nice. Okay, I guess we could just try and wipe them out with uh, battles then. Might be enough to get some battle war score. Riding through the forest until I see a group of haphazard soldiers come with my unit weapons raised. When they are finished with us, all my men are dead. I sink to my knees in the mud wondering why I'm still here. Where is the enemy commander? I kill him myself. Falky. Falky is dead as dicks. You win the duel. Of course we do. Look at us. I mean, we are 53. 53 personal combat for a man who's a giant. Seems a little small, huh? Like a frost giant with only 53 personal combat? Good with a bit of a tweak. Uh, you're gone. Goodbye. Get out of here. Uh, let's hunt those boys down as well. We're going to try and publish our notes again. Oh, shit. We're now a heretic again. Well, we've had that happen last time and it wasn't too bad. It's worth the risk, I think, for the very small amount of gold we get out of it. Okay. Get out. Perfect sacrifice again. Why the hell not? I'm going to go for the capital. I think that might be the safest thing here rather than just keep fighting because we are... Oh, we've lost. Now we're fucked. Um, what do we do now? I may have made a horrible mistake. Stop. Summon an army. Summon ethereal army. We need 100 gold. Borrow the gold. Do the alchemy. Succeed. Nice. Okay, that was a big one. And then summon the army. It's not the character... Oh, shit. So cast a spell. Okay, we got to wait for that to wear off. Mercenaries. As many, many mercenaries as we can get. Wait till the movement locked. Big brain. Oh no, no, wait, because they're coming at half morale. Let's just bring them in. No, oh, apparently they're full morale. No, they're not. That was our uh, that was our other unit. Alright. They've stopped. They they decided that was a bad idea in hindsight. Good. 
Okay, that was very expensive, but you know, it was basically free money anyway. We can make, there's more where that came from, let's be reasonable. Okay, let's go back and take the war goal again. Fuck's sake, how have they got this minus 22% just by taking out the war goal? That doesn't seem fair. All right, go for their capital. Let's take him out. Let's capture his air or something and speed this thing up quite significantly. Unlike last war, like I was saying, we don't really have to worry about waiting for that, uh, waiting for just it to tick over because we've actually got a major battle for once this time around. Right, 27, 29%. Is that it? Go for his major ba battles, I guess. What religion are you? Zoroastrian. 10 out of 10. <laughs> Ingold, welcome to the world. Another frost giant. Ingold, Lingold Lunatic. Perfect. A good name for a good boy who shall learn magic. And we finished our book. Uh, the Locust and Cookbook. Terrible. I mean, it has some event purposes, but besides that, it's fairly terrible. That's a lot of troops. Hunt them down. Now, my issue with doing this war is that it's going to make them very squishy for when the Aztecs turn up, which they will. The Aztecs always turn up. Caught them. That's going to be a lot of war skill right there. Ooh, nice. Okay, um... Rough terrain? We're in Scandinavia, so you imagine a lot of it's rough terrain, huh? We've got forest cavalry, light foot. We've, I imagine we've also got a lot of light foot as well. Um, no, actually not at all. Heavy infantry. Fuck it. Let's go for heavy infantry in that case. That's what we're going to be upgrading towards anyway, so we might as well stick with that. Right, kill them all. Kill every single one of them. Who died? Why are we now playing as Bear Insane? What happened? Nothing. Well, that was odd. Oh, I think our older brother. Yeah, Mads died. Okay, that's fine. Slain by Gandalf in a chaotic battlefield duel. Good. Fantastic news. Now our son is our heir rather than our, our older brother or our uncle or something. Oh, what is this? As I see illness and suffering all around me, I can't but think of the alchemy that may have a solution. I have heard rumors of the legendary Azoth, the first outflowing of life recreated and able to cure all ills. Of course, I'll find a way to make this Azoth. I believe you. I think, I think if anybody can do it, it's our current character, Shea Goratha II. Oh, we failed. Well, I've dedicated all of my free time searching for the recipe for myself. All the leads have come up empty. Well, I mean, it was fairly, you know, fairly ambitious, I'd say. Okay, let's get these boys. Let's kind of bunch it up a little bit. I think we just got a carpet siege now, haven't we? Kind of sucks, but, you know, it's part of CK2 at the end of the day. Even though there's no way they can win. Oh, shit, we can't afford them. Okay, suddenly, things have changed. Uh, now they could definitely win. Kill them before they can siege, for the love of God. Center of Worship. That might have been a bad idea, but fuck it. Okay, um... Erica? Oh, my twin son. Not even a giant? How does that work? Oh, because she's half giant. Oh, wow, okay. We must have sucked up all the giant's blood. Oh, I don't care about you then. You don't get a fancy name because you are a half-breed monster. Sa another sacrifice. How many of those have we done now? I feel like we're doing those every times three. That's what I like to see. I don't know why that raises personal combat. I never really considered it before. Um, let's just sit here and wait. Let's just wait. We've won. We just got to... There we go, 100%. I was going to say, let's just sit. Let's not engage any more battles that we could lose. Nice. That was a massive battle for very, very little. But like I said, we've got two wonders being built. Let's move on to the third one. I'll build as many as possible, as quickly as possible. We're in debt. I'm going to borrow some money. Then we're going to alchemize it. And then we're going to get the money. Oh, shit. That works out so well. And then we're going to repay the loan. Uh, find a loophole. Repay the loan. Find a loophole. And then with the money we've got left over, we can try and do more alchemy. And we can unpause our buildings, more importantly. Unpause you. And then go to... You, unpause you, and then let's do a little bit more alchemy, if you don't mind, whenever you're ready, anytime now, dragon recoils, don't give a shit, business as usual, don't give a shit, get out of here, China, no more news from you, thank you, I don't really care about the Chinese post, go, yeah, there we go, two in a row, holy shit, big news, alright, let's build something quite nice then, uh, so War we'll, we'll, we'll Domicile, there we go, that's what we need for our stat buff buildings, let's leave that there for today, Another wonder is being churned out, such as the series title. We've got a nice little game plan going forward. Take a province, build a wonder. Take a province, build a wonder. We've built a lot of buildings in our capital, and we can now do alchemy again. So, this episode was a minor setback anyway, because we had to learn to do alchemy, but now we've done it, we're basically back to where we were with some other stuff going on. So, thank you all for watching. I hope you guys have liked this episode. Let me know what you think of the series, and if you have any suggestions for series in the future, check out the Discord. Links are below. Meanwhile, let's give a shout out to those guys over at Patreon who have made this channel, this series possible in the first place. A big thank you to Harik, Alpha Scuff, Asuna Kirito, Atmosis, Average Gamer 419, Banyal, Sedini, Conspiracy, Crazy Pat, Croesus, Escape, Pacuna Vasquez, Haydog, Jimbo, Josh Lindin, Tesla, Michael Mullen, Necrophilin, Pelvis Presley, Sean Thornton, Smurt One, Tom Terry 18, Vacuous Bacchus, Wolfsen, and Zazzy1711. Thank you all for your support in these CNT levels on Patreon. It is most appreciated. Thank you for keeping the channel alive and monetized and 
uncensored. Because, you know, if YouTube ever take the monetization away, who cares? You guys have got me covered. And a big shout as well to Gray, Nathaniel Lemberg, Llewellyn Thomas, Asaro, Betamus Max, Chris, David Van Diepen, Don, Don Connie 2 and 7, Gabriel Van Ders, Gaz, Genji Zerka, Haji Dumar, Hancock, Harry McGowan, Icy the Great, Jay Lehrer, James Barnes, Yoran DeVries, John Holiday, Jordan Campbell, Joseph Beard, Justin Plot, Nathan Flores, Matthew, Nick, Panther Pearl, people with the ethical treatment of animals, Sir Thorne Sweet, Shari, Wolfie, Zico, Adam Person, Sidini, Fraser Brennan, Noah Gallimore, and the Insane Pickle. <laughs> Thank you all for your support, the Insane Tier Levels on Patreon. Thank you for the other patrons. Thank you for the Twitch subscribers. Thank you for the viewers. And thank you to you at home. See you next episode.